In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this Iman Ghazi style animations in DaVinci Resolve. So let's begin. All right, so first of all, things that we're going to be using in this animation are this background where you have this factory and you can go ahead, download any AI generated image. You can use playground.com or you can use any AI image generation website in order to get this. The second thing that I have over here is the person. So this is up to you. You can add a person if you want to. If you don't want to, it's up to you. And finally, I have this cog wheel, which I'm going to be rotating in the video. Let's begin. So firstly, right click over here and then create a new timeline and drag in a fusion composition and head over to it. Now I'm going to drag in this background and I'm going to add this merge node and I'm going to drag in this image that we had and I'm going to connect it with the merge one. And now while you have your image selected, just make sure you add this transform so that we can scale this up. So somewhere around two will work. Now I'm going to show you how you can add some dynamic visualization in the image. So for example, we have the windows over here. And since this is a factory, we can show that there is a work. There is some sort of work going on. People are working inside. So what we can do is we can just add some flashes over here that we can use to show that there is some sort of work going on in the factory. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and add in the fast noise. And over here, I'm just going to attach it to the merge one. So now let's change some settings. So over here in the details, let's go ahead and change this to 0 0.55. And let's change the contrast all the way to five as well. Change the scale to 1.8. And let's also change the brightness to somewhere around here so that this covers in our windows. And of course you can change the size if you want to, if you think that this is not giving more bright effect for the footage. So this would be fine. 1.57 would be fine. Now let's go ahead and add in some masks. So this mask, the masks that we're going to be using are basically going to help us draw the mask around the window so that we can only show that the flash is coming from the window, not through the whole footage. So just go ahead, drag in the rectangle with the fast noise and let's go over here and change the width and the height so that this only fits our window and also change the soft edge like this somewhere around 0 0.04. Now go back to the fast noise over here and go over to the color tab. Now over here, you can simply change this blue to zero so that we get a yellowish effect. And you can just go over to this color panel and just slightly change this to a light yellow color like this. And now go ahead and drag in another rectangle connected with this rectangle. And this time we're going to add in for the other window. So for example, this window we have over here, let's just make sure that we fit this mask according to the size of this window. So just increase the height and also change the soft edge. And you can decrease it so that this looks okay, like this. And now let's go ahead and do the same thing for the other window. So make sure that this is within the window so that we don't get a weird looking effect and you can already see this looks nice it looks like lights are on inside and i'm just going to quickly do this now for the other windows as well five minutes later all right so here you can see i have the lights done and now what you can do is go back to the fast noise and over here if you go to noise go ahead and change the brightness and simply right click over here on the keyframe and then go over to modify with and then select shake. Now go over to the modifiers tab, change the smoothness to one. And if you just play this now, you will see a very rapid animation or you can say flashes. What you can do is simply increase the minimum to let's say 0 0.7 and you will see that this we get this subtle looking flashes. And now you can see that this looks very bright. In order to change this, go over to the merge node and change the blend to somewhere around, let's say 0 0.4. And if you play this now, here you will see this looks much nicer. 
and it fits in the whole scene and it makes our scene look very dynamic. So since we have this done, let's move over to the next thing, which is to add this person over here. So let's just go ahead, add the man over here. Let's drag this right here. And of course you can use transform node so that we have a better setting. So I'm just simply going to add him over here and we have the basic scene done. Okay, so now I'm going to add in text over here. So simply drag in this text node connected with the merge and let's write in our text. I'm going to be using this Poppins font with black and let's drag in, drag this right here. And let's change the size to 0 0.05. And now this looks much interesting. And I'll go over to shading and then change the appearance to this one, outline. And here you will see we get a text. Now what we can do is make sure you have your text selected, press control space and search for glow. So use this glow over here and you will see that the screen turns black. But in order to change this, all you need to do is just click on this alpha limits effect. And this will bring the background back in and now you can simply change the spread of the glow over here you can change the hv ratio but i'm just going to change the gain over here and also i'm going to reduce the red and green so that we have a bluish kind of glow over here and then let's increase the decrease the spread from here and let's also decrease the gain accordingly and go over to the color, color filter and then change this to a light blue color and here you will see we get a nice looking text now let's add in another text and this time this will be a 3d text so just drag in this text 3d control space and then search for render 3d then connect the render 3d to the merge 4 and now we can add in our text so i'm just going to simply type in this text and it's the same font that we used Opens and then change this to let's say medium and I'm going to decrease the size but I'm going to go over to the transform node over here and then from here I'm going to change the scale so let's bring this around 1.7 change the translation of x and y and then from here I'm just going to simply change the x-axis and the z-axis like this right so here we have our text done and i'm also going to add in glow for this so go ahead search for glow and copy the settings from here and then paste them on this one so we have the same settings as well all right and next i'm going to add in this cogwheel so just drag this in connect it with the merge 5 and then also drag in the background and connect make sure that this is connected with the image of this cog wheel and let's also add in this transform node and change this right here make sure you increase the size and then just move it along over here and let's also add a glow for this one as well and again we're going to copy and paste the settings like this and this time we're going to reduce the blue a little bit and let's go over to merge and also change the blend to let's say 0 0.2 and now let's see how this looks so let's just change make sure that this blue is at one all right and now go over to the transform and over here in the angle just go ahead and right click and select modify with and then select anim curves then go over to modifiers tab and change the transition from transition to duration and over here change the curve to easing and then change in to sign and out to sign as well and from here if you play this this is how it will look but if you want a slower animation which you can do is simply change the scale to let's say 180 and if you play this now here you will see we have a slower animation now let's go back to the text 3d and we also need to animate this text 3d as well so in order to do that, just right click over here and then select follower. 
go over to the modifiers tab, change the delay to 2, order to left to right, and then go over to transform. Then go over at the size, and from here, let's just go over to, let's say, 20. Create a keyframe at XY, and then also at pivot. Now let's go over to, let's say, 30. And over here, let's create, again, keyframes. And in the first one, let's just go ahead and change this to 0. And also the pivot to 0 0.2. And if we play this now, this is how it will look. And if you think that this is a little bit fast or a little bit slow, you can just go over to the modifiers, select this follower, and go, then go back to the timing and then change the delay to, let's say, 1. And if you see this now, it will appear much faster. So now for the final thing, which is some bags floating around here. So just go ahead and drag in another merge node. And this time, I'm just going to show you how to draw a bat in DaVinci Resolve. So let's just drag in this background, keep this in black, then drag in this polygon tool, right click, and then remove this connected to the background and then the background to the merge. All right, and now while you have your polygon selected, let's just go over here and create a bat. So I'm just going to randomly draw this. So this is the bat and you will see that this does not look very interesting but you will see that we will just add in a few effects that will make it look very interesting. So here we have our bat. And let's just drag this. All right, and now I'm going to animate this. So let's say over at 0, I create a keyframe over here. And then over at 5, I'm going to change this, these two points over here. And then at 10, we're going to change them back again. And if you play this, you will see that this is how it looks. And let's go over to Polygon and click on Spline and make sure that you select your Polygon one from here and select all your keyframes and then and then go ahead and select this set loop. So if you play this now, this is how it will look. It looks like the bat is flapping the wings. So let's go ahead, make sure the background is selected and then search for blur and over here i'm just going to blur this to let's say five or let's say ten and if you play this you will see that now the bat is not that visible but at least it looks like there is a bat and this is the effect that will help you to create very minimal sort of animations for any bat or let's say a bird in davinci resolve now in order to duplicate this what we need to do is just select your background and then search for duplicate and then while you have your duplicate selected just go ahead and change the copies to 10 you can change the time offset as well change this center like this and then change the size as well so you can change the size like this let's go over to jitter change the random seed and change the center like this and then also change the size so let's say 1.3 and let's decrease the size from the controls to 0 0.91 so that it does not look very bad all right so now we will start moving the bags so from here if we change the x of the center you will see that this is how we can change the animation so let's go over to zero create a keyframe at center and then go over to let's say 30 and change this all the way here then let's go back to zero and then change this to let's say this side so that we can see that the bats are moving in and let's go over to 40 create another keyframe at center and then let's go over to 50 and let's just move this in like this. And if you want 
more bats to come in and go out, you can just go ahead and create more keyframes and do the same thing that we did before. So let's say over here, over here at let's say 80, we're going to do up till 90, like this. Mm -hmm. So here we can see we have some bats moving in as well. And now for the final thing, we need a transform node. So while you have your merge eight selected, just click on transform and this will add in a transform node. Go over to zero frames, create keyframe at center and then add size. And go all the way to the end and then let's zoom in a little bit. And this time we're going to slightly move this like here. So if you play this now, here you will see we get our animation done. So this was it for this video. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.